So, hello, hello, and welcome back to Cosmo T. Let's jump right into the next engagement, aka next system. So, we have upgraded um, in last episode our ship quite a bit. We have now some missiles, not only the kind of not only laser and energy weapons, but we have some missiles as well. And I kind of think missiles are a really nice thing indeed. So, today we're gonna kind of recruit the last 11 crew that are missing. It would have some um, space on our ship and then like bats on our ship and then we probably can continue with upgrading our ship but first let's have a look at our rather strange looking enemy lots, lots of lasers there let's just go into the f into the central part of the, of the enemy there you go I'm gonna I'd like to watch the missiles hitting this guy slowing down to one fourth and there we go, taking missiles, going into the shields, as it looks like. Punching through the shields, destroying two and some weapons. And now the cannons are hitting hard. The lasers less, the cannons harder. There we go, next big cannon shot. Oh! And one of the... I actually didn't pay attention. Something killed the entire ship in one go. Probably a missile, because... I don't think we were able to get, to get into the... And now there we have the full crew. I don't think that the cans were actually able to penetrate right through to the generator taker, reactor core. But anyways, here we will hit from the back with all our missiles. Okay, not quite enough damage from the missiles, but this thing is more or less dead in the water anyways. The missiles should the missiles should take care of it. Come on. There we go. Really convenient. Already turning towards the next enemy, whilst the missiles take care of the almost that wreck. Okay, engaging the next one, the Spitzer, with two big cannons. So actually, let's actually let's fight first towards the can. Um, engage the cannons first, and now bumping into that thing. That's not good. That's totally bad. Missiles coming in. This guy has some point defense systems. Which is not that great against our newly added missile arsenal. However, we have fought. we're now at the back of that ship and taken out. Um, we took out almost all course with them with one volley, and it's actually probably already too easy. This level three enemies, and we have again saved up 150,000 credits. I think. There we go, and that's a rocket. The thing is called rocket. That's a great name. And taking care of that thing took longer than expected, but no biggie for our spaceship zero zero one. <laughs> okay, okay. First, let's let's go into the building mode. We have another two hundred thousand to spend, which is great. And I think. The best way to spend it is to build some wings, or at least I call those things wings, they're definitely not wings, but I mean, we're in space so wings are pretty much useless anyways, but I mean like, um, some sort of tiny, not t not really tiny, but extensions, that's probably a better way of saying things, extensions where we're gonna add some weapons, usually cannons or even or other bigger things so I'd like to go with well first I want a shield generator I really want one okay we can't have this one so we have to space them apart so we have here uh, really a lot of shield shielding which is good having shielding is always a good thing and then we will throw in a big cannon there you go big a big gun and next after that we might as well slap in one small cannon the same configuration is over here and after that slapping in another shield generator question is yeah let's go shield generator and then armor armor and then this thing is more or less done or the wing at least well not quite because we need some uh, ammo factory which will be placed here and something for the energy not a storage 
uh, not a reactivated storage so this one will not explode when hit hopefully it won't be hit but still there's the possibility possibility and another point defense on this side against missiles because probably gonna encounter missiles soon maybe not yet immediately but soon and having already something against missiles before we encounter encounter them is a good thing a few fire extinguishers really probably more than we will ever need but you know actually who knows i mean but better safe than sorry in that case and we have we have something for energy we have something for oh 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 we have no oh. okay there we go the cores or the the ftl cores should probably place them over here instead of some crew bats and they can fill this one up with two new crew bats increasing our crew and we would it looks like the ship would like to get more energy cores question is where maybe instead of yeah let's slap an energy core down here or reactor core not quite energy but reactor core and armor 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 we could as well go place instead of this point defense get an armor piece down here and then here and then we have really good defense again shielding towards the front end to the side so that this reactor core won't blow up that's good that's really good i think we're going to build this we have more more cannons and since we already have a reactor core here we might as well instead of this armor block here take an electro nah an old and boring laser sounds like a better solution okay and while we're upgrading we might as well target our next system which will probably be I think we're not uh, ready yet for level 4, so we're gonna finish us off those two level 3 guys, and then we're gonna go to a level 4 enemy. Okay, and now we're already around 10 minutes into the episode and we haven't been really fighting yet. Just fiddling around. Nah. Not really productive. So let's jump right into our first combat of this screw crockable crockable shouldn't be oh we have no missiles and incoming so that's why we need point defense now let's have a look at, look at our point defense do we have enough point defense okay one will go through that's the point defense i took deleted more or less so no we need more point defense definitely towards the front actually frontal point defense okay now our missiles are gonna hit okay that's good there we go, turning towards the enemy. Cannons, are, cannon fire unleashed. Cannons are firing, missiles are coming in. Okay, we, we, pro we pretty much killed this guy. Let's fight, go towards the next enemy. And we took just a tiny bit of damage on this side. Probably some shots on the side after the shields go down, went down, or after he kind of circled around us. Speaking of circling around us, probably gonna need some shields towards the side. Or facing the side. Come on. Oh, double iron frigate. So this guy has a lot of. Let's just go for the central fr uh, iron lasers. And he has some point defense. Not enough. But our missiles take out um, most of the shields. So now our main batteries can pummel through. Mm, f let's face slightly to the side. There you go. Our main batteries are going to pummel this thing. There we go, it has no weapons left. Just taking the core out now, please. And there we go. Can turn around. Last few last few cannon volleys were enough to kill it. Okay, two two thousand on repair costs, not too bad. Now speaking of shields, I'd like to have one layer of shielding on this side over here. So now we're going to increase the mm, corridor length here on this side instead of this. Well, the fire extinguisher will still be placed there, but just at a later stage of the corridor. There we go. Now, under those few point defenses that were necessary. Okay, that's a bad thing. 
hearts. That's a good well made you. There we go. That's where I want the point friends to be. Okay, that's good. Okay, so no real changes to our ship here. Just adding some shielding on the side. So if the enemy boom flies past us, so oh whoa 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 no, I was just talking without paying attention. So just take out this big cannon place. Flying backwards, and this guy's toast. I think that the four will, will be probably already kind of is a good thing. Ow, and we took no damage at all. That's great. And I think I oh, and we are back onto this diagonal at l four times regular speed rate, pummeling this thing down, even though he looked. Looks quite dangerous, but he is not not dangerous at all. And spinning up the FTL drive and jumping right into the next sector or system. Okay. Flying towards our first group of enemies with a patrol ship. And a small shogun. Let's actually focus the shotgun first. Okay, our missile's gone right towards the... Oh, perfect. That went almost perfectly according to plan. Okay, so the bigger the patrol ship had some point... or has some point defense systems, which allowed it to stay alive for a bit longer and deal mm, insignificant amount of damage. Okay, so we should have bearing just just right in uh, enough time to restock our ammo supplies. And there we have two enemies. Trepper and Falling Star. Let's actually go for the Falling Star first. And the Trepper takes some blows from the missiles. And they get in, in their, into their own way, kind of. And the, the missiles took out the one of our, uh, what was it, the four, no, the, 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 the trapper. And now we took out the other one. Now flying towards the, okay, 7,000 is more than usually. So flying towards the next enemy, the saucer. Okay, the saucer has almost no shields, but a lot of big guns. So this is actually not really fearsome opponent. Okay, now we're taking damage. We're taking a lot of damage. And we lost control. Yes. That's exactly what I was trying to do to um, avoid ex in the last kind of maneuver that I did. So, repairing for 2000. So, half of our allowance is away. Which means. Kind of what blew up? All those cores blew up. That's the thing. And then oh, this one. That means we should mm, increase our front protect frontal protection. Or in other words, we should actually instead of those two storage banks, just placing down some good old armor. So if something penetrates the weapons, that we're not going to lose the course immediately. That's the idea behind that. And some fire extinguishers instead of these fire extinguishers here, so we can move this way. Kind of move move through there and that's one thing we, we're gonna upgrade now and the other thing is which you kind of wanted to upgrade however because we um, like this entire part I wanted to increase the length of our ship quite a bit Okay, that's enough, I think, for the beginning at least, that is. So, the idea behind, okay, this one will be deleted and thrown down there again. Okay, so the thing is, we are ta we are not really maneuverable enough, in my opinion. And we need those boost thrusters here. I'm going to slap those boost thrusters down there and... Slap two huge thrusters here. So I'm gonna take this one and move it down by one. Adding a okay, that's good. We have still the same reverse thrust, which is acceptable. Let's actually leave this one here. 
and just add steering thrusters or, or maneuvering thrusters down here. I'm gonna get this one there. Uh, okay, good. The question is how maneuverable we are right now with having this one better, like an, on a better place, more off center, so we have more torque. Let's slap this one here. That's medium thruster, that's good. And maybe tiny two two way thruster somewhere. Nah, that, that's not very necessary. So, uh, because we of course need more crew quarters. Wrong, wrong, wrong tab, there you go. Need more crew quarters. Gonna fill this one here up with crew quarters. That's pretty clear, actually. Now we have enough crew quarters for quite a while. And we might even. We get some more reverse thrusters here. And get some crew quarters on the. On this side of the map. No, not of the map. Of those thruster block of this central space spacing things out block. And here there will be probably new crew quarters here. Yeah, probably. Uh, adding some fire extinguishers here in, into the corner. Uh, let's add actually another a second one. You never know. I'd like to fill this one off with missiles, or at least move the missiles slightly further down range and then increase the, the wing area. However, oh, wing area. <laughs> Not quite wings. But this will be something that I'm going to do at a later stage. And, oh, by the way, there's also something I'd like to add is a sensor array. And instead of some of those crew quarters, no, let's actually move this one. Some instead of some of those crew quarters, are going to use the sensor array. Explosive charge. I mean, a humongous explosive charge. Sure, not really necessary yet. Well, if we're ever going to use it, that is. And a secondary control center, not necessary yet. We have how much? Four eighty something. Mm, not really necessary yet. I think that's actually it. all our upgrades done. We could go with some structural panels here. Though I don't see why. I have no clue why. So... Let's just stick in another row of armor and be done with that. That probably looks ridiculous. Let's, uh, how can we... There we go. The outside view. What's written down there? Model L. The radar thingy, so we have now bigger range. Okay, take this thing out, which has only two lasers. Oh, wait. Oh, but it, they, they are so small, I didn't pay attention. Okay, we can fight against both at the same time. Okay, we shouldn't show them our back, actually, that's a bad thing. Our missiles will take this guy out, so let's focus on this one. This one is dead already. And now this one, oh god, come on, please hit missiles. I hope. Oh god. And we have some th super thrust! Bam, bam. There we go. Destroy this pasculine thing again. And they wasted up all of their energy cores. Anyways, on to the next one. Which is a level 4. Where do we have a level 4? That's level 4, right? 3 and 4. Elite. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. Well, worried more. Not, not nervous, but worried that we cannot take this guy. Come on! They will be the last ones to take it to fight in this episode that is I think pretty obvious but so and there's a like a group of three on the left side okay slaying into regular speed Archangel god this thing looks beautiful and it has four big guns and I'd like to focus on this guy so you are please Okay, focus this core. Pam, pam, pam. And please. Not. Whoa, stop it, stop it, stop it. 
giving and maneuvering. I want you to be maneuvered here. No focus. Okay, we took out something on this side with the missiles. No. Get over there and move you off with your super engines. Focus on the, this cannon. Or this cannon here. Or just, just continue circling around, that's okay, in my opinion. That's not quite what I planned, but fine by me. A little bit more turning. Okay, we're taking damage. They're penetrating here. And we have some armor. So those cores should not blow up immediately. Slowing down to a quarter. Okay, coming in new shots. Our cannons will die very shortly. And there we lost a shield generator. Penetrating right next to our ammo factory one more hit and this entire thing sector will blow probably up and there you go blowing up okay it's not looking too good so focus down all four uh, three remaining cannons please missiles being missiles come on get the missiles ready okay they will soon take out this energy core here I'd like to uh, turn this way, please. So that we have not that vulnerable, kind of not exposing the vulnerable side too much. Okay, we're losing something. Oh, one missile away, that's good. Okay, the shields on the wings are penetrate, uh, are down. The shield generator is as well burning, so pretty much dead. However, our cannons are doing its job pretty th their job pretty well let's actually get a little bit closer and we lost the front part we're gonna lose our cockpit very soon so let's activate the thruster thrust as well we can and try circling around here while facing still this side or let's let's actually try facing the other side there you go and now take out this cannon and this cannon this cannon something big exploded okay let's increase speed okay this is a little bit too high for us fighting this level however we're gonna penetrate them pow pow okay, we have a fire here okay, regular speed and we lost control it was to be expected i hope we're not gonna lose this core actually this core here in the middle the central core is what i'm worried about Okay, th this entire section is going to blow up shortly. F this... Please... Okay, good. This core. Okay, this guy has no... Okay, we can't command it. Has lost its command control center as well. Those two cores remain and only one gun on the front side, which we cannot access. And we have one big... Two big guns, two small guns, and all of our missiles. So it's more or less a thing of the missiles. And this is a really bad placement on my behalf, having the missile factory at the very back. Okay, now it's just wait until this thing is dead. And we could actually repair this one. And go into depth, that is. Okay, there we go. How much will you give us? 100 grand. It's totally worth it. Not really. Come on, fight, 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 fight. There we go. Took longer than we expected, but okay, let's fly towards this guy, and before we actually fight against him, I want to move the missile factory over here, and have here a corridor. Yeah, that's it. And having here more corridors, and yes, that, that's, that's it for the moment. Of course, we don't have enough to get another missile wreck, do we? No, we have. We actually have enough money. Okay, let's go and add one of those missile wrecks. Okay, now the throw. Oh god, this guy has fo focus down cannons. Yes, focus down all those cannons. Thank you. And you throw on your thrusters. There you go. 
Fiu! Power, 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 cannons there. Okay, our first opening salvo is about to hit, and he has way more shields than we have, so... We stand no chance, that's pretty clear, concerning alpha strike capabilities. Trying to turn things away because we already lost completely our shields, so did they. And our first, oh, our first cannon shots penetrate. Now he turns and we turn, that's good. So now we can fire onto those cannons here on this, onto this entire side section. Trying to destroy those cannons there very well. Good. Incoming missile. Good penetration there. Starting up our afterburners. Trying to move now more facing the other side. So that those uh, ammunition reserves on the right side also are used. And we should get rid of those beam lasers. They are not really good. They're not really shooting our playstyle. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this was actually faster than I expected. That's good. Burning and only 2,000 in repair costs. Okay, because we just learned our lesson with not having those two lasers there, um, beam lasers there, we're going to switch back to those regular double lasers. We're going to fight those th three guys there and having more smaller ordnance weapons is probably a good thing. And now three enemies on radar. Oh, one of them is big, one of them is two are small. Opening on a small one at maximum range, please. Slowing down. Next, gonna go for this one. Just opening salvant, that's it. Let's hope that the missile's gonna kill it. Uh, missile's gonna kill it, the thing. Let's hope for that. On the site, we also hope that the missile's gonna kill this stupid thing there. Trapper, only electro balls, not that big of a threat. And here, where do we want to hit this gun and then hit the core? Oh, this guy's better in turning than I expected. So, all weapons front. And this one is probably out of fight. He has weapons, but no engines. Slowing into regular speed. Go right into this core. There we go, getting rid of the core now, onto that big cannon, and then turn this way. It's very good. Now, fire into that thing, while facing this side as well. There we go, come on, get rid of that thing. Beautiful, now again, back onto this one. And facing this side, good. We, we took quite some damage in the front. We lost m most of our armaments. However, we didn't lose any core internal compartments or, th or anything like that. Just come on, take this last gun out here on this side, please. It's the biggest threat there. Take this gun on this side out. Okay, first target destroyed. Oh, oh, oh we, we took some damage in the missile missile wrecks, probably because of the explosion of the enemy ship. Okay, now... Yes, that's what I expected. Yeah, the, the entire missile wreck got exp exploded. And we have to put off the fire, otherwise we're going to lose our entire right wing. The cannons. Okay, good, good, good. Just taking... Try taking out the last energy core on the back. And there we go. Now fire, getting rid of the small bit down there. There we go, it has some cannons, um, had some cannons at the core here. Perfect! There we go, just repairing for another 100,000, so we had, we made only this 100,000 here, which we're gonna spend immediately on a few upgrades that are pretty Necessary, I think, at, at, um, at this stage. And those are. First of all, we're gonna take these, this entire thing, and move it down a bit. Yeah, we're just gonna move it down. Then we're gonna extend this wing thing. Wing thing. Um. Yeah. But yes. I apologize for my stupid jokes all the time. And 
what we're going to do here, we're going to increase our firepower towards um, the side slash the front. I mean, I'd like to add another cannon here, but I don't know how well this will be. Usually the front armament gets, gets taken out quite fast, and that's bad. Usually. On the other hand, we could go in... Yes, I know what... We want to get a corridor running this way, because we don't have any weapons on at this point here. And we have some shields, like two, two layers of shields here, so we can totally make use of that. And... Of this energy core. So I'd say let's go with one cannon here. Moving it up by one. No, that, then it's outside of the of the range of the shield range. And of course, for that to happen, we need to get rid of those blocks there, which would which makes this one a lot more vulnerable. However, if we slap enough armor around it, let's just leave it this way. Mm, yeah, that that's decent. Okay, it looks ridiculous. I agree. It really looks ridiculous. But we have now more armor on this side, which mm, hopefully will prolong this the side service life by at least if, um, at least a little bit. Here, that's what the first upgrade and the second upgrade. Where I'm interested in doing is adding here another cannon on this, or even a large cannon. Let's slap on a large, slap there a large cannon, and put this shield generator. Move it by one. Instead of the laser gun, we have now a second large gun, and and the small gun. So we get rid of a small gun and the laser gun, and get a, bi a big one, which is probably an upgrade. At least I think that. And then I'm thinking about getting a broadside type of thing working on this side is also one of my thoughts. On the other hand, I'm not really a big broadsider. Let's slap in one shield there, because we just have the... we can upgrade that, that's not a big deal there. One of those things, and... adding a small cannon. Here, if something, like in the last few fights, one of those smaller ships moves towards the back, so that we still have something to protect us. Well, not, not only something, but a decent sort of defense there, not just one, me just, just those measly rockets. Well, they are very good, but not against very s small targets right at the side, whilst they can take out the entire kind of side there. So, yeah, that's more or less the thought in that. <coughs> I think that's it, just upgrading the... Oh, we need some more power personnel. So, let's slap this one here down, slap this one down, slap this one down. And we have here enough space for a few quarters. There you go. And that's it. Okay, finishing on this note for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, Spaceship, signing out.